Monolisk is developed by Trickster Arts, a fantasy mobile ARPG where players clear dungeons with one of five customizable heroes, collect cards with loot, creatures and environments, then build their own shards for other players to explore. Monolisk is a world that was shattered into pieces and players have the opportunity to recreate it and fill it with their own stories. What separates Monolisk from other games is that your ultimate goal is not to prevent visitors from beating, finishing your shards, but to build interesting levels for others to play and enjoy. Everyone who finishes your shard gives you a stars rating, with more stars earning greater rewards for the creator. More than just a game, we also see it as a social platform where you can build for your friends and followers, as well as play and comment on the Crete. Irons. For example, you can play shards made by your favorite YouTuber, search for shards made by friends, or simply pick a suitable level from the game's database and follow the creators you like. There are currently 300 cards to collect, offering 15 distinct hero play styles and 15 environments set. S for shards. The game is described as a fantasy mobile ARPG, CCG, and dungeon builder all wrapped up in a single package, which sounds interesting enough, but clearly, the art design takes center stage here. Monolisk is a neat hybrid between a dungeon builder and a dungeon crawler. Players collect cards, gear a variety of adventurers, explore other players' creations, and build dungeons of their own. It's an interesting idea I haven't seen implemented in quite this way before, and I rather like it. Unfortunately, a good idea does not always mean a good game. The progression system is flawed, and there are remarkably few tools to help players create the game's lifeblood, original content. You can choose any one of the five given characters, each of whom has their own different set of abilities. And perks. You can select from Artificer, Warrior, Hunter, Shadow, and my personal favorite, the Mage. Each character is highly customizable, starting from the appearance, clothes, and many countless things. You can also change their weapon of choice and special ability, and attacks, replace with stronger one, anything that comes to your mind can be accomplished in this game which gives the user an enjoyable and fascinating experience. You can play a variety of levels that are made by different people around the world and win rewards. I feel that this is one of the deal breaker which may repel some users, and it lacks a well-defined single-player story, which bummed me out. The graphics and music are so amazing, and controls are simple yet intuitive, they when combined with a well-written and well-structured story and raise this game to unimaginable heights. But as of now, the user is stuck with just playing other people's levels. On the other side of the proverbial wall, dungeon builders don't have the link between hitting the bad guy and getting awesome loot, but that doesn't mean they aren't also hindered by an economy based on card packs. Rather than affecting the fundamental feedback loop, as card packs do with adventuring, they affect something a little more blatant, the tools available to create shards. Opponents, shards types, and higher level shards can only be used after they are unlocked through card packs. At the start, players only have a meager variety of enemies and tiny shards to develop. Sure, they function as something akin to a tutorial, but a proper tutorial or three would be better all around. Moreover, there's no guarantee that enough of a single enemy type, or large enough shards to put the M to use in a properly themed level, will make an appearance in any reasonable time frame. The player too can make levels on their own for everyone else to play, but I often enjoy playing rather than investing time on building and felt that this might not be for everyone, but nevertheless if you are even a bit creative, please do try and make a level for yourself. If this sort of thing is for you, I'm very confident that you'll enjoy it very much. Another small nitpick is that there are way too many in-app purchases that makes the user feel they are missing out on an integral part of the game as they have many resources and items which complete the game and make it feel like one piece.
Thank <laughs> you. 